It has been one year since a Kaduna-bound train from Abuja was attacked by suspected terrorists. It was one out of many attacks by gunmen in the country last year. In this report, correspondent Lupe Asom caught up with some relatives of the victims of the attack. They are calling for more to be done to protect lives and property as the country gears towards a new democratic dispensation. His report. On the 28th of March, 2022, the Kaduna Abuja train incident became the latest on the ever growing list of attacks carried out by armed terrorists. The assailants derailed the train by setting up explosives to blow up a section of the track. They then opened fire on coaches and kidnapped about 63 passengers. Security operatives confirmed that nine people died, while 28 others sustained severe injuries. Abdumalik Atar's 85-year-old mother was among those who spent over six months in the forest. While the hostages languished in captivity, their loved ones held a series of protests demanding for their release. One year after, Mr. Abdumalik recounts his mom's harrowing ordeal. She came back from a medical trip when this incident happened about a year ago. I, at least I went to pick her things. The majority of what she had in her bag were the drugs. The prescription she had that, will, that should take her over a period of time. For her to now spend about six months without taking drugs, sun, rain, cold, everything was on them. But um, thank God they are all out today. He was also a member of a seven-man committee, which was later set up by the Chief of Defense Staff, General Loki Rabo. They were tasked to secure the release of the last batch of 23 hostages, which they successfully did. It was alleged that the terrorists were giving millions of naira as ransom for the captives. As Nigeria gears up to move to a new democratic dispensation under new leaders, Abdumalik is calling for improvements in the security of lives and properties. You can't have a government within a government. That is one point that um, um, the, the, the committee, the CDS committee, um, has stressed. All we need to do is show commitment and all the, there should be synergy among the security um, operatives for us to have a common chat, a common cause towards um, um, actualizing peace in Nigeria. Damaged tracks have been repaired, and the NRC has since resumed train services. Passengers now have to present their national identification number before they are permitted to board. Stiffer security measures have also been put in place to protect the train and all those who board from attacks. Lupe Asong, TVC News, Kaduna.